To get into Canvas, you want to go up to the top here. Mine says District Bookmarks, but on Students it says Shortcuts. You click on that, and your courses should show up. To get into your course, you click on it. So I'm going into Art 1, Quarter 1 with Skinner. And in here, you're going to want to click. You might um, have any one of these tabs open, so you want to make sure that you're going to Modules. So I'm going up here where it says modules and in the modules it'll show you all the different ones that you work on usually the older ones are at the top um, sometimes the teacher will just push things to the top like the portfolio is always going to be at the top when you click on it it will give you either a link or some instructions so I'm going to click on each one of these you can see how it says it gives you instructions here, and then there's a bunch of links to look at. More links here. And let's see. Okay, so under drawing, there's multiple things under drawing. And then the clay unit. So there's videos to watch. If you see a link like this, it's either a slideshow or videos to watch. So I'm going to go up to the top here. And you have two um, slides that you need to create. One is you're going to take your painting and you're going to actually add it to a slideshow under Impressionism right here. You can go to the very bottom one that says Impressionist Critique. Click on that. Open that by clicking the link. And then you're going to upload the painting that you've done into a slide. So you're going to add your artist name to it, whoever you painted. If you're not sure, you can go back and look at the other Google Slides that tell you. And then change your background color to blue when you finished it. So like here, it shows the student's name at the top. They've put their painting in, and then the artist's name is Surat. So take a picture, upload it, and include it in here. This is a group effort so that we can all see each other's um, paintings and look at them together as a group. So if your name is still showing a blank, and it's still purple, it means you haven't done it yet. If it's got the picture, make sure that you're changing the color to blue. If you don't know how to do that, you go on your slide. So like, I'll go on one that's not done. Go to background and click on the color and change it to blue. And then say done. So then that would be done. If you want to undo it, go to this little arrow up here and undo it. Now it's back to that color. So this one you're not making a copy of, but you do want to go back to the modules and go to the one that says portfolio at the top. When you go to the portfolio, open my portfolio in a new window, go to file, click on file, and then go down to where it says make a copy. Select entire presentation because you want it to look the same and the teacher's going to be adding some slides to it as you get assignments. So you say entire presentation and it'll say copy of my art portfolio. I want you to take out the words copy of and then over here you're going to put your name, and I have a student that I want to do it for, so I'm going to do it.